Hi. We're going to take a look at uh, some eyes. I. Now, what you can see here is this is a scale. I'm going to zero it. What this is is a cottage cheese lid. It's very similar to one I used when I was uh, demonstrating how to calculate an I. But this, I want you to remember its mass. I'm going to write this number down. You should too. It is 7.41. There's a decimal point right there. You can't see it on the screen, but it is 7.41 grams, which means it is 7.41 times 10 to the negative third kilograms, okay? And if I were to calculate the I, then I would also need to know the radius of this guy, which if you can tell uh, on the screen there, it's dancing around 11 and a half centimeters. And so half-ish of 11 and a half, I'm going to call 5.5. 5.75, that's centimeters, so that'll be E negative 2, and I'm going to go ahead and square that because it's MR squared to get that center mass. Now, this guy is just a, uh, a Diet Coke uh, bottle cap is all it is, um, and I drilled a hole in it. You'll see why. It's for the same reason I poked a hole in that guy, but... I will show you what uh, what we'll do with that. But anyway, that's the mass of this guy, 2.27, which means it is 2.27 E negative 3 kgs. All right, and the radius of this guy, once again, what I will do is take that uh, number right there. If you can tell, it's a little less than 3 centimeters. So if it's a little less than 3 Half of that would be one and a half, a little less than one and a half. I'm going to call it 1.4 centimeters, which I'm going to go ahead and call it out as 0 0.014. If you want to put a third digit in there, it uh, just to keep it all three, it doesn't matter, 0 0.014. Uh, I'll go with another four meters, okay? And then I'm going to square that for the calculation of what the I about the center mass is, all right? But anyway, what we're going to do is calculate the I around the center mass. So now I am done with the scale. So I will move it out the way. My and I will put my favorite turntable uh, back in here where you can see that. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go uh, back to the cottage cheese canister and I'm going to put it right on the post. The item that you rotate around on a turntable is called a post. So if I'm going in circles like this, can you tell this guy is just going in circles and the axis of rotation is what the Sharpie pen is. Therefore, the I of this guy is simply one half m r squared, which we took 0.5 times the mass is 7.41 e negative 3. And I'm going to multiply that by 5.75 e negative 2 squared. Boom. That is... Uh, the math that I just typed in. So when you uh, do that, you'll pause it and take a look at what that is. But this is 1.22 times 10 to the negative fifth, and that's kilogram meters squared. Okay, so that is the math that I just did for the cottage cheese one fmr squared about the center mass. Boom, 1.22 e negative five. All right, so pause that and take a gander at it or make sure you know what I'm doing now. What I would also like you to visualize is the same thing for this Diet Coke lid. That's why I drilled a hole in it so it can fit right there. If I wanna take and figure out the eye of that Diet Coke canister, it will be 0.5 times 2.27 e negative 3, and I'm going to multiply that by 0 0.0144 squared. And this math is what I just did right there. If you want to uh, zoom in on it and pause it and take a look to make sure you know how to type it, go ahead. Then this becomes 2.35 e negative 7, and that's kilogram meters squared, okay? So that is the math that I just did for the Diet Coke.
uh, bottle cap. All right, so anywho, there's that. Now, what I'm going to do is show you when a parallel axis becomes relevant and when it doesn't become relevant. Okay, right here, this guy's going in circles around that post. What I'm going to do is simply move him to right there-ish, and I'm going to have this guy go in circles again. And hopefully, what you can visualize is two circles. Two circles. One of those circles is obvious. It's going around in circles. It's revolving around, again, the post. But what I'd like you to also pay attention to is the writing on the cottage cheese container right now. It's right side up for you guys, isn't it? But if I have it rotate just one half of a revolution, now that writing is upside down for you, isn't it? And now it's back to right side up. And now it is upside down, and now it's right side up. So what I want you to visualize is when it goes from right side up to upside down, back to right side up again, that's the exact same thing as if I were to take this cottage cheese container and rotate it right there, boom, and now it's upside down for you guys, isn't it? And I could do it again and put it back to right side up, right? And it just rotated uh, and now it's back to upside down, and now it's right side up. And can you tell whenever I do that, all I'm doing is having this item go in a circle. That is the pencil right there, isn't it? So I can rotate this guy and have him go in a circle around the pencil, right? And now the writing is upside down. And then I can have them go in a circle again. And now the writing is right side up. And so it's the same thing as when it was there, isn't it? Rotating. So it's rotating about its center mass way out here. It's still rotating about its center mass. But it is also rotating around the post. So if I have this sucker go in circles like this, can you tell? Now it's upside down and it went in half of a rotation around the pencil and half of a rotation around the post. And I'm gonna keep going, and now it's right side up again. It is going in circles around the pencil, and it is going in circles around the post. And what you can tell is the pencil and the post are both vertical, aren't they? And if they're both vertical, then they are both parallel to each other, therefore it is a parallel axis, I. So what I'm going to do is calculate the parallel axis component of this guy's eye. So what I will do is measure the distance from the post to the hole that it was right there. And it's, I don't know, a little bigger than nine. So it's maybe like 9.3-ish centimeters. So the I, that is the parallel axis, is simply MD squared, okay? And uh, that mass is the exact same mass that it was up there. It is 2.27 times 10 to the negative third kgs. That's the exact same mass. Whoops, that's the Diet Coke one, darn it. Wrote it on the wrong one, shnikes. Uh, so what I will uh, end up doing is calling that I about the uh, cottage cheese there. The parallel axis is simply MD squared. All right. So that mass is the same mass 7.41 E negative 3 kgs. Now that distance again, it was a little over nine centimeters. So I don't know, I'm going to call it point uh, oh, 09, again, a little bigger than 9, maybe 0 0.093. I don't know, but then I am going to have to square that number. So what I'm going to do is take 7.41, 7.41 E negative 3, and I'm going to multiply that by 0 0.093, and I'm going to square that quantity. And this then is the math that I just did there. And so you can pause it to see what that number ended up being, but it's 6.41. So the parallel axis is 6.41 times 10 to the negative fifth kilogram 
meters squared, okay? So there's the I about the center mass, 1.22 EU negative 5. There's the I that is the parallel axis, 6.41. So when this sucker is going in circles around there, I have to add the two I's. So what I will do is push the plus button. So this I is 1.22 e negative 5 plus 6.41 e negative 5. And you see how those numbers are exponentially ish the same? e negative 5 and e negative 5. So this number is what, 6 ish times bigger than that one? But it's still relatively similar to each of the r. So what I will do is I will simply push the plus button. To that, I'm going to add. Uh, 1.22 e negative 5, and I'm just getting 7.63. So the i of the whole thing is 7.63 e negative 5, and that's kilogram meters squared. So there's an i, that's a parallel axis i. But what I would like you to realize is not all the time will that parallel axis or the center mass be relevant. So in other words, what I'm going to do is go back to that Diet Coke can or cap and say, well, gosh, this sucker is going in circles too, isn't it? And it's doing the same thing the cottage cheese container was. It's going in a circle around the pencil. At the same time, it's going in circles around the post. And so there are two circles it's going in, but one of them is very unrelevant compared to the other. This circle that it's making right here is very, very tiny compared to the circle it's making around there. So if this is a very, very small circle, chances are this I will be unrelevant. So what I am going to do is measure the distance from the post to the pen cap hole and happens to be ish the same as the length of a Sharpie pen. So if I measure the length of a Sharpie pen, in uh, centimeters there. This is, I don't know, about 13 and a half ish. And you can tell where that ends up 13 and a half, not quite 14. Um, so I might go ahead and call that just to keep the uh, numbers uh, pretty good 0.14. And I'm going to square that and I'm going to multiply that by the mass of the uh, Diet Coke, which was that 2.27 E negative 3. So you see how that was what I started to write on earlier. But 2.27 E negative 3, that's the mass of the Diet Coke cap. And 0.14 is the distance that it is squared. So now what I'm going to do is take those two numbers, 2.27 second E negative 3. I'm going to multiply that by 0.14 squared. And I'm going to get a number that look at this, this parallel axis quantity is 4.45, but it's E negative 5. All right, so now look at those quantities here. The center mass I is times 10 to the negative 7th. The parallel axis I is times 10 to the negative 5th. Now that sounds small, but it's 100 times bigger than that, isn't it? In fact, it's a 4, and that's a 2. So this, if I were to divide uh, this number by that one, I'm going to get a number that's 200-ish times bigger. This number is 200-ish times bigger than that number. So this I center mass is very irrelevant. I mean, it, it's, it's going to be insignificant. So if I push the plus button, if I take this 2.35 E negative 7 and I add uh, 4.45 E negative 5, and I add the I about the center mass plus the I that is the parallel axis, I'm going to get a number that's essentially the same as the parallel axis, because all I'm going to do is put that 2 where that 5 is. This ends up being 4.47 times 10 to the negative 5th. All I did is Put that 2 or that 5. That's it. To three digits, it doesn't change it hardly at all. And you guys remember sometimes when we do math problems uh, for homework, you would ask, hey, is 4.45 and 4.47, are those numbers the same? These are ish the same. So what it means is this guy, when it's going around in that circle, the I around itself is unrelevant. It's just the parallel axis. It's the same thing as Bob going in circles around this guy around here. So you see how this 
Bob is just ML squared. It's the same thing as an MR squared. So if this guy is doing one of these, it's the exact same thing, all right? When you see a pen cap on a turntable, what I want you to visualize and do is say, hi, Bob, it means it's doing this same thing, all right? Yay.